Hi, it's Anne. Uh, part two of putting together Doc McStuffins because this is the kind of project that seriously gives me nightmares and I just hate myself. <laughs> and what I'm talking about is check out her pants, right? I, I stopped even like just spacing it out because I knew I needed so much work right there. And then I realized I'm missing one white dot, one white circle right here, which is driving me insane because I have to recut that piece. Um, but just the spacing for this, it's so many pieces, right? Even the sweater, it's a lot of pieces. So this just took a long time. And um, I did the design space tutorial already. Um, and I made this already a lot um, friendlier than it was with like the shoe for instance so let me move this up so you can see it a little bit better the shoe was in one two th the white part right here was in three pieces and I made it one without I feel like without losing any of the details I think it still looks really good and you don't you wouldn't have known that it should have been three separate pieces um, the pink was in multiple pieces as well and I made it one so just all those little things, right? And the handle right here was in three pieces and I made it one. So just little things that I've already made it easier and it was still, whoo, it was <laughs> it was a time uh, consuming project and it's not even laid down. I was just trying to find all my pieces, figure out where everything goes. So I'm not gonna piece it together today. I'm not going to show you that part because you've seen me do that a million times, gluing down the pieces, right? So it's not really about that. Um, what I want to show you today is we're going to do the second um, bandage, bandage, band aid, bandage. Um, I want to show you how to add the wob wobble. The wobble is like a spring, but it's for crafts. So you can kind of see it and it just, right, it's cute. Um, it's going to go on the stethoscope right here. I can't say that word. I'm going to have this one spinning as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to do the same one. This one's a little bit bigger. It goes, well, let me show you her, her whole thing and then I'll move it. She's really, really pretty. And what I really like about her is we've got a lot of samples from my cardstock, um, my curated cardstock collection for skin colors. Um, her skin is one color, the second color is her lips, the third color of brown is in her hair, um, the fourth color brown is over here, it's the back of the band-aid, and then the lighter skin colors you're going to see um, here and here. So I've got a lot of colors going on uh, from the collection, which is super exciting. I feel like all the colors are beautiful. and. This is what I mean, like I've been testing things out and checking it and stuff. So you can see I've cut her in other colors just to try it out. Um, and I feel like this is a great, I mean, she looks, she looks pretty stinking cute. And it's not glued down, so it's not, you know, spaced properly and whatever. But I want to show you how to put the band-aid together with the wobble. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it on, let me move this back up so you can see it. Oh, and I just lost pieces of her hair. <laughs> I'm going to put the other spinner right here. It's a little bit bigger, so it fits this bag. So I'm gonna show you how to add it, the perler bead, so that it, this will swivel. And it'll be really, really cute. So, all right, let's put this piece together. This piece is super, um, what am I saying? It's super small, um, like thin pieces. That's what I was trying to say. Super thin pieces, so I'm gonna use Fairly Art glue. Um, I like their glue for things like that. Um, it dries really quickly, and also, like if you get it on your hands, it dries quickly and it peels off. So I feel like I'm not getting, because um, I get glue on my hands all the time, and um, I'm not contaminating other pieces. So you know, like when you have glue on, I feel like with some of the other brands, I end up getting the glue residue on all these other pieces. Okay. So let's glue this one together so that we can get started. And it's just so cute. I just love, I don't know, the whole skin color collection thing I'm super excited about. I know there are a few out there, um, but I feel like the colors are what you would think should belong 
in a skin color collection, but when you actually use it as skin color, that the tone's not right. And a lot of times, like even, um, you know, I feel like I'm getting to know my, my card stocks really well and I'll recognize it if I go somewhere, like I can kind of tell which brand or which color and stuff like that. Um, but I still choose the wrong color cardstock for my projects all the time. And I spend a lot of time getting it ready. So in my mind when I'm designing it, and then once I'm in design space, I will pull the colors um, before I actually cut it just to see if like the colors go with one another and things look good until they're actually cut and put together. <laughs> so a lot of my projects, when I'm first designing them, um, I'm recutting something. Either, you know, like um, the, the magic potion, like the cauldron that I did for Halloween. Um, those greens, I pulled them out beforehand. I thought they looked great. And then I had to recut one of the shades. It just didn't go. Um, and it's one of my favorite colors. So it's like, it's one that I use a lot. So you just really don't know. And I feel like sometimes when people, it's one thing when you do projects for like, let's say the pink that I chose was like, not as light as it should be, not as vibrant, or it clashed with the other, with this color. That's not as big of a deal because it's still like Doc McStuffins, um, color scheme. But with when it comes to skin, I feel like when you're off, it really is off. Either the brown is like um, not vibrant enough or has like an ashy undertone, like a gray undertone, it's really bad. You need, you need like that pink undertone. And a lot of times the flesh tones, um, especially for the lighter colors, you think something's gonna look good and it actually doesn't. You actually need more color in there than you might, than you might think. So, all right. So that's what I'm here for. I'm testing it out on all my characters. And when it's ready for pre-sale, you'll be able to see all the characters. And some of the characters will have multiple shades where I'm going to switch out the colors so that you can see. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just super excited. All right. This is all down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the pink little lines first. And then we'll make the band-aid wobble. So let's put this down and see where it goes. All right, that looks about right. All right, so I'm gonna put my, and I love this glue because of the precision tip. It is um, really small and perfect for intricate projects like this. Now, I don't have a lot of glue on this one, so this for this one, it's not that big of a deal. I do like to hold it down for the first few seconds while it's drying, just so that it doesn't curl up and pop up at all. Um, all right. so that's down let's put this little wobble guy on so I bought it on Amazon I believe it's on my Amazon shop so you can always go there and look so on both sides there's a little you know um, double-sided tape going on um, the only problem is I was trying it out and I felt like it wasn't sticky enough so I'm actually going to put down I'm gonna flip this over and put down a little bit of my glue gun. Okay, so that's down. Then on this side, you're just gonna, you know, peel off the tape and I'm gonna put the glue gun on half of it or actually right in the center. So I'm gonna let it be sticky and have a little bit of glue. So I'm just gonna put it down in the middle. Oh, you know what? I need a glue stick. Now, funny story about the glue stick. Did you hear that? 
I have my glue stick coming out of a very cold freezer. Supposedly, um, if it's coming out of the freezer, that you won't have um, the glue strings. I don't know if I fully believe that, but we will give it a try. Yay. See, it's so cute, right? All right, so let me show you how that's going to work. So, um, see, it's just a little spring right there. So it's going to go here. So what's going to happen is on this little guy, we're going to cut out a circle. Okay, so let me see. Let me see if I have a hole puncher. I should have looked for that, so... Oh man, I usually have a hole puncher. Give me a second. Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna punch a hole right in the middle. And the reason why I say, you know, just kind of like right in the middle. Um, so it's one little hole. I'm actually gonna do a few holes to get it to be a, a big enough spot for me to, to work with more easily. So you can kind of see here. <laughs> I can't get that hole right there. Okay, here we go. All right, so now I can see it. You can see the hole, right? What we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna cut a piece like this. Um, scissors. I want to cut a hole or a, like a circle or a square that's bigger than this shape because it's going to go underneath and it's going to be attached to my perler bead. So my perler bead is going to be able to spin. So the paper has to be big enough that it won't, if it was smaller than this hole, it can go through the hole and I would lose my piece. So that's the only thing. We want to make sure it's bigger. So. Our hole is pretty small, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be bigger. But you want it to be not so big that when it spins, it doesn't come out on the edges, right? So basically, it's going to be like this. So now let's glue down our, our perler bead. And we can glue down two beads, okay? So I'm going to grab my glue gun, and I'm just going to put like that. Okay, so the glue is right in the middle. I'm gonna put down one bead. Here's our second bead. And that's just gonna give us more glue surface here to glue it to this piece. So it's gonna sit like this. And I don't wanna put it on just yet. This is gonna dry in like no time. But we're gonna put this over and then we're gonna put this on top. So then this will be able to spin because it's going to sit on the perler bead. So I'm hoping that makes sense, okay? So let's, oh, it's still wet because I just got a glue string. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Um, so what else can we talk about? So we've got my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. Um, I buy a lot of my supplies on Amazon, so um, everything that you see on there, I've bought, um, and I buy a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, so it's by projects. You can also figure out where all my supplies come from through my blog. So it's the uselesscrafter.com, and you can search by projects. And um, we try, we try our best to list all the links to the tutorials and also a ton of pictures and um, a link to all the materials. So, all right. And also something kind of new, although some of you guys already know, um, I do sell SVG files on my website and those are usually more, um, uh, they're like uh, templates. So you'll see like a cake topper template. So it'll be a general cake topper template and then you just need to add your character to it, like the mirror um, 
the mirror cake topper, like for all the different princesses. And I did, uh, for that same mirror, I did the Evil Queen and Snow, mm, no, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And you can see just by changing the colors that you really changed your theme. All right, I think this is dry, so I'm gonna touch this real quick. Yep, I'll dry. So this little piece goes like this, right? So when you go to glue this down, you're gonna put this behind here. And this is gonna go down like this. When you glue down this piece, you have to make sure that you don't glue on this green piece, because this green piece needs to be able to swivel like this under, okay? So it's gonna be like this. Okay, so you're gonna take you're gonna glue the outer edges and this will allow it to still move. So you see my fingers are moving. So this is gonna be glued to this, which means this will be able to spin on the perler bead. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. So I almost feel like I'm gonna make this little hole a little bit bigger just to give us some, oh, I'm sorry, this little hole, I'm gonna make a little bit bigger to give us a little bit of um, room for error so that the glue won't come down and get it. And you can see I'm not, obviously I'm not being very exact about it. So this is still, this hole is still really big. And see now it's a little bit bigger so I can twist it around. Okay, so when you glue this part together, obviously when you put this down, this piece of paper has to be in the middle. So you're gonna put it down like this. You're gonna put glue just on here. We wanna make sure that the glue doesn't come down and tape and glue itself to the, to the pink cardstock at all, okay? So here we go. Okay, and then we'll put this down like this. And I'm just gonna hold it in place while it's drying. And I don't know if you noticed, but I feel like there were less glue strings. Did you see that? So that new glue stick came straight from the freezer. But it kind of doesn't make sense because if you don't finish the glue stick, which a glue stick takes a while to get through, then it's not cold anymore. So I don't know. I read that on Surebonder's Instagram account, so I don't know. All right. Okay, so you do you see how? Okay, so the heart right now is um, right side up, right? So I'm going to be able to move this now. Yay, it works. It's going all the way around. So I hope that makes sense how this little swivel piece works. And I'll turn it around here. You know what? I'll write on this so that you can see, okay? I'm gonna put the number one so that you can see how the one rotates so that this little piece is rotating. This purple piece is sandwiched between the top piece and the bottom piece with the perler bead in between. So hopefully that makes sense right there. So you can kind of see it's swiveling. Yay, so all right, so let's put this piece down for a minute. It's gonna go like this. So it's gonna have movement here and then it's also gonna do this. It's pretty cute <laughs> and extra. And that's gonna match her little stethoscope here as well. So I'm gonna do a little hole right here and put this on top and this is gonna swirl as well. All right, so I hope that was a lot of fun for you. And here she is again, really, really pretty, sorry. Everything is, you know, like I said, it's not glued down yet, so I'm, her upper lip just went underneath, but I feel like her coloring is just beautiful. All right, I will see you guys next time. I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you enough. And if it didn't, you can always check out any of my other characters. The steps are always the same. The only thing that changes is the character and the different um, shapes and colors that we end up using. So, all right, I will see you next time. Have a happy Halloween. Oh, one last thing. Since this is Halloween, so Halloween 2021, um, 
We have a Craftmas exchange on Barely Art uh, web page. Barely Arts webpage. Um, basically, if you sign up, that means you're going to be paired up with another crafter and you guys will exchange your own ornaments. So you can make them and it can be out of anything. It could be out of paper, acrylic, um, wood, whatever ornament you want to make, you're going to exchange it. And then um, if you want to be extra and be entered in the contest, Barely Art is giving away a Cricut Maker. I'm pretty sure it's a maker. It's a Cricut machine, a cutting machine. Um, and But like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a maker. Uh, if you send in an extra ornament to them, then you will be considered for the prize. So, all right. Um, oh, the only other thing is, please make sure the one of the questions on the form is, who? how did you find it up? How did you find out about Craftmas? And I hope you put me down, the useless crafter. All right, that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>